already committed here. So this here is your image plate, it's 14 by 17. So we got your wall bucket here. And you want to make sure that you put this on that 14. That's just to hold the plate in there. So then you would just go ahead and put your cassette in there, line it up. And you close that. So then you come over here to your tube. Up top here is where you want to make sure that your tube is lined up correctly at 72 inches. And when that little green uh, light is on, that means that it is in place. So this right here, this is how it's called detent. So you want to make sure that you have that on. So you press that and the little green button comes up. And we have here is your light. All right, and these are your collimators. Open them and close them however much you want. Okay, so whenever you have a fan that you have to move in to 40 inches, as I mean, you go ahead and press this detent button. to pick from. You have your, your chest, your head, upper extremities, lower extremities, and whichever else you need. So you'll just click on one, you'll select it, and you'll hit select. It is touch screen. So, and from there, and then once you're ready, you will use this button right here. You'll pu push it. Okay, so you're going to select your patient from this computer monitor. What you'll come to is you'll hit this RIS button, and you'll have your check-in sheet, and you'll take your, scan your barcode on your check-in sheet. You'll scan it. Your name will pop up, the patient will pop up. You'll click that patient, and this green arrow right here, you'll click it, and all of the exam stuff. So after you have shot your um, image, 
um, you take your cassette after she, Holly had explained that you pull up your patient, have the paper and everything. You take your cassette here, the barcode, and you scan it. And then you place it in one of these four slots. And that is where your image will load and will pop up on the